Good morning, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents. Introduction Examples of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers are shown with their years of introduction. Individual agents will be discussed in part 2. Mechanism of action Non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers are competitive inhibitors of acetylcholine at postsynaptic nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. All NDMR possess one or more quaternary ammonium group. Quaternary ammonium group binds reversibly to one or both alpha subunits on the ACH receptor to prevent acetylcholine access but induces no conformational change in the acetylcholine receptor and thus no acetylcholine receptor activation occurs. Quaternary nitrogen radicals can exert their inhibitory effects without having the same spatial separation of alpha subunits of 1.4 nanometers. Non-depolarizing muscle relaxants binding to the acetylcholine receptor is a dynamic process of continuous association and dissociation. The resulting end plate potential decreases as more non-depolarizing muscle relaxants bind to acetylcholine receptor until the threshold needed to propagate action potentials is not reached. The sarcolemma is not activated and no muscle contraction occurs when more than 75% of postsynaptic acetylcholine receptors are blocked. Thus, in large doses, non-depolarizing muscle relaxants impair neuromuscular transmission sufficiently to produce profound neuromuscular block. They also antagonize pre-junctional acetylcholine receptors this blocks the normal positive feedback cycle whereby acetylcholine stimulates its own release. Recovery Metabolism of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants does not occur at the neuromuscular junction. Non-depolarizing muscle relaxants diffuses down a concentration gradient back to the plasma from which it is cleared. More acetylcholine receptors are stimulated from acetylcholine and recovery from neuromuscular blockade occurs. Administration of an anticholine esterase such as neostigmine increases the half-life of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction. Thus, more acetylcholine receptors are stimulated and recovery is hastened. Characteristics of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants All non-depolarizing muscle relaxants are quaternary ammonium compounds Examples of monoquaternary amines include tubocurarin, vacuronium, and rocuronium. Examples of bisquaternary amines include all other non-depolarizing muscle relaxants apart from tubocurarin, vacuronium, rocuronium, and galamine. Example of trisquaternary amine is galamine. Potency increases if the molecule contains two or more quaternary ammonium radicals. There are two main groups, benzylisoquinolineums, and aminosteroids. Benzyl lysoquinolineums have the ending of ureum. Some benzyl lysoquinolineums consist of quaternary ammonium groups joined by a thin chain of methyl groups, which makes it more likely to break down in the plasma than aminosteroids. They are more likely to cause histamine release than aminosteroids. Onset of action in seconds, tubocurarin 220, Alcuronium 420 seconds, galamine 300 seconds, atracurium 110 seconds, cisatracurium 150 seconds, doxacurium 250 seconds, mivacurium 170 seconds. The onset of action is time to 95% depression of twitch response after a dose of 2 times ED95 of a neuromuscular blocker. Duration of action in minutes. Tubocurarin 80 minutes and above, alcuronium 70 minutes, galamine 80 minutes, doxacurium 83 minutes, atracurium at 43 minutes, and cisatracurium at 45 minutes, mivacurium at 16 minutes. Duration of action is measured as time to T1 equals 25% of control, also known as time to 25% recovery. After administration of 2 times ED95, which is the dose that results in 95% depression of twitch height. An anticholine esterase 
may be administered at 25% recovery to reverse neuromuscular blockade by non-depolarizing muscle relaxants reliably. Aminosteroids They generally show greater CVS stability and less histamine release than benzylisoquinolinums. They have an ending of uronium. They possess at least one quaternary ammonium group attached to a steroid nucleus. Metabolism is by deacetylation in the liver. Deacetylated metabolites may possess weak neuromuscular blocking properties. Excretion. It is mostly excreted unchanged through the kidneys. Parent compounds may also be excreted unchanged in the bowel. Onset of action in seconds. Pancuronium 220 seconds. Vacuronium 180 seconds. Pipacuronium 300 seconds. Rocuronium 75 seconds, rapa curonium less than 75 seconds. Duration of action in minutes, pen curonium 75 minutes, piper curonium 95 minutes, rock curonium 33 minutes, vacuronium 33 minutes, and rapa curonium 15 minutes. Non depolarizing muscle relaxants are highly ionized at body pH. They are water soluble, they are poorly lipid soluble, have variable protein binding. After IV injection, it is rapidly redistributed from the blood to the ECF and other tissues such as the kidney and the liver. Small volume of distribution as non-depolarizing muscle relaxants are mainly distributed in the plasma and ECF. Potency The prime determinant of potency of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants is the lipophilic bridge between the quaternary nitrogen radicals. Clinical effect depends on the individual drug pharmacokinetics characteristics and concentration at the neuromuscular junction, which will be described later. Determining dosage of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants based on the ED95. ED is effective dose, the dose of a neuromuscular blocking drug required to produce an effect, such as 50%, 90% or 95% depression of twitch height, commonly expressed as ED50, ED90, and ED95 respectively. Thus, the ED95 is the amount of neuromuscular blocking drug required to reduce twitch height by 95%. The dose of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants required to produce adequate conditions for tracheal intubation is 2 times ED95. Common indications for non-depolarizing muscle relaxants includes endotracheal intubation, for mechanical ventilation in patients with severe lung injury, to reduce intracranial pressure, to reduce shivering such as during therapeutic hypothermia, status epilepticus, reduce muscle spasm related to drug overdose or tetanus, during delicate surgery such as neurosurgery or ophthalmic surgery, and to reduce movement in restless intubated unconscious patients during MRI scans. Possible complications of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants include residual muscle weakness and neuropathy, especially if steroids are co-administered, critical illness myopathy, corneal drying and abrasions, pressure ulcers, apnea and respiratory failure, decreased heart rate or increased heart rate, hypotension or hypertension, bronchospasm from histamine release, rash, malignant hyperthermia, decreased cough strength, retention of secretions and atelectasis and increased pneumonia risk, and increased risk of venous thromboembolism resulting from immobilization. Comparing non-depolarizing and depolarizing muscle relaxants. Saxamethonium is the only example in clinical use for depolarizing muscle relaxants, kindly refer to the video on saxamethonium for further details. A short note on decamethonium. It has more rapid onset than saxonalcholine. It is no longer available for clinical use. It is prone to tachyphylaxis, thus incremental increase in the dose is required to produce the same effect. It has a longer duration of effect compared to saxamethonium, about 20 minutes. It is not metabolized by plasma choline esterase. It is primarily excreted unchanged through the kidneys. Comparing depolarizing neuromuscular block and non-depolarizing neuromuscular block. Cause of depolarizing neuromuscular block 
is a single dose of depolarizing muscle relaxant such as saxamentonium is administered. Cause of non-depolarizing neuromuscular block? Non-depolarizing muscle relaxant is administered. The physiology of depolarizing neuromuscular block. Saxamentonium is an agonist at acetylcholine receptor. However, saxamentonium is not metabolized by acetylcholine esterase and ACHR remains activated for some minutes. Following initial depolarization and muscle contraction from ACR activation, further action potentials cannot pass down the ion channels as ACHR remains activated. Muscle becomes flaccid and repolarization does not occur. The presence of saxamentonium at some acetylcholine receptor sites results in decreased number of functioning acetylcholine receptors. Contraction of fewer muscle fibers results in reduced but repeatable twitch strength. Recovery starts to occur within 3 minutes as saxamentonium diffuses away from the acetylcholine receptor sites down a concentration gradient and is hydrolyzed by plasma choline esterases. Physiology of non-depolarizing neuromuscular block Non-depolarizing neuromuscular relaxants are competitive antagonists of pre- and post-junctional acetylcholine receptors. Binding to acetylcholine receptors induces no conformational changes in acetylcholine receptors and thus ACHR are not activated. Once more than 75% of postsynaptic ACHR are blocked, end plate potential produced is reduced so much so that it does not reach the threshold required to initiate an action potential and no muscle contraction occurs. Binding of ACHR and non-depolarizing muscle relaxants is a dynamic process of repeated association and dissociation. Recovery occurs when non-depolarizing muscle relaxants diffuses down a concentration gradient into the plasma from which it is cleared. More acetylcholine receptors are stimulated by acetylcholine, allowing recovery from the block. Muscle fasciculation occurs during depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, but not during non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade. There is decreased response during single twitch in depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, but no fade occurs. In non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, single twitch shows decreased response with fade. Tetanic stimulation Depolarizing neuromuscular blockade shows small but sustained response but no fade and does not reach 100% response. During non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, tetanic stimulation demonstrates fade but does not reach 100% response. During train of force stimulation in depolarizing neuromuscular block, there is no decrease in amplitude of twitches from successive stimuli, i.e. there is no fade. In non-depolarizing neuromuscular block, during train of force stimulation, there is decrease in amplitude of twitches from successive stimuli. Fate is present. Post-tetanic potentiation does not occur during depolarizing neuromuscular block. However, post-tetanic potentiation occurs during non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, which is increased in amplitude of subsequent twitches after a period of tetany with fate still present. Block is augmented when anticholine esterases are administered during depolarizing neuromuscular blockade. In non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, the block is antagonized when anticholine esterases are administered. When repeated doses of saxamentonium are administered after depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, phase 2 block occurs, which consists of features of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade. It is also known as dual block. Phase 1 versus Phase 2 blocks. The cause of Phase 1 block is single dose of depolarizing muscle relaxant. The cause of Phase 2 block is repeated doses of depolarizing muscle relaxant. Physiology of Phase 1 block. The presence of saxamentonium at some acetylcholine receptor sites results in decreased number of functioning acetylcholine receptors. Contraction of fewer muscle fibers results in reduced but repeatable twitch strength. For Phase 2 block, Presynaptic blockade results in decreased acetylcholine synthesis and release. Postsynaptic receptor desensitization and depolarization acts to repolarize the postsynaptic membrane, results in increased sodium potassium ATPS activity. Nature of block for phase 1 is partial depolarizing, for phase 2 is partial non depolarizing. There is decreased response to single twitch in phase 1 and phase 2 blocks. 
The TOFR is more than 0.7 for phase 1 block and less than 0.7 for phase 2 block. During 1 Hz single twitches, phase 1 has sustained response, phase 2 has fade. Post tetanic potentiation does not occur during phase 1 block but occurs during phase 2 block. Effect of anticholine asteresis The block is augmented during phase 1 block and antagonized during phase 2 block. Kindly refer to the video on assessment of neuromuscular blockade for further details. Factors affecting the potency of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade Medications that potentiate NDMRs, examples, antibiotics such as aminoglycosides, polymyxins, lincomycin, clindamycin, tetracyclines, and metronidazole. Magnesium, lithium, quinidine, calcium channel blockers, beta adrenoceptor blockers, local anesthetics, inhalational anesthetic agents. The magnitude of this potentiation depends on the duration of inhalational anesthesia, the specific inhalational anesthetic used, the concentration of inhalational agent used. Rank order of ability of potentiation of NDMR from highest to lowest is desflurane, sevoflurane, isoflurane, halothane, nitrous oxide, barbiturate opioid or propofol anesthesia. IV anesthetic agents potentiates NDMRs as well, such as ketamine, thiopental, etomidate, and propofol. Prior administration of saxamethonium, opioids such as fentanyl, and multiple NDMRs. Mechanisms include stabilization of the postsynaptic membrane, presynaptic inhibition of acetylcholine release, combination of pre- and postsynaptic effects. Medications that can decrease the effect of NDMRs, anticholine esterases, chronic intake of phenytoin, carbamazepine or corticosteroids, noradrenaline, azathioprine, theophylline, calcium chloride, potassium chloride, and protease inhibitors. Acidosis Metabolic and respiratory acidosis extends the duration of neuromuscular blockade caused by NDMRs. Mechanism Ionization of a second nitrogen atom in monoquaternary amines, such as tubocurarin and vacuronium, increases its potency. Hypothermia Impaired organ function delays metabolism and excretion of NMBAs. H. Old age. Impaired organ function delays metabolism and excretion of NMBAs. Neonates. For healthy neonates, there is increased resistance to neuromuscular blockade due to higher extracellular volume than adults. For the ill or immature neonates, there is increased sensitivity to neuromuscular blockade due to underdevelopment of the neuromuscular junction and other organ function. School age children, there is increased resistance to neuromuscular blockade due to higher extracellular volume than adults. Electrolyte imbalance potentiates neuromuscular blockade, for example, in hypokalemia, altering resting membrane potential of the postsynaptic membrane results in potentiation of neuromuscular blockade. Hypocalcemia impairs presynaptic acetylcholine release and hypermagnesemia potentiates neuromuscular blockade. Correct electrolyte abnormalities as they can interfere with peripheral nerve stimulation results. Burns Patients with burns have increased resistance to non-depolarizing muscle relaxants. In myasthenia gravis, there is increased sensitivity to non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers and increased resistance to saxamethonium. Renal and hepatic dysfunction prolongs duration of neuromuscular blockade if the non-depolarizing muscle relaxants used are metabolized or excreted by these organs. Hypoproteinemia can significantly increase the potency of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants if a significant proportion of it is bound to plasma proteins such as rocuronium. Choosing neuromuscular blocking agents It depends on individual preference, patient characteristics, drug characteristics, and length of procedure. For rapid sequence induction, saxamethonium is the default agent, rocuronium is an alternative agent. At doses of 
more than 0.6 mg per kg, satisfactory conditions for tracheal intubation can be achieved within 60 seconds. For atopic or asthmatic individuals, avoid benzyl lysoquinoliniums that release histamine. The faster the speed of injection of benzyl lysoquinoliniums, the more histamine is released. Cis atracurum, however, does not cause histamine release despite being a benzyl lysoquinolinium. For patients with decreased levels or activity of plasma choline esterases, neuromuscular blockade from saxamethonium and Miva curium may be prolonged as these drugs are metabolized by plasma choline esterases. For patients with hepatic or renal failure, cis atracurium and atracurium are ideal as they will not have prolonged actions as they are broken down by a pH and temperature dependent process known as Hoffman degradation. Hoffman degradation is not affected by renal failure. For short procedures, Miva curium has a short duration of action of 16 minutes and is ideal for short procedures. Reversal agents do not need to be administered routinely for Miva curium neuromuscular blockade, provided that more than 20 minutes has elapsed after a bolus and neuromuscular monitoring shows adequate recovery of neuromuscular function. Other practical tips. Calculating doses of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants for obese patients. Use lean body mass as non-depolarizing muscle relaxants are highly ionized and penetration into vessel poor adipose tissue is poor. For females, it plateaus at 70 kg. Formula is lean body weight in kg equals 0.65 times height in centimeters minus 50.74. For males, it plateaus at 100 kg. Lean body weight in kg equals 0.73 times height in centimeters minus 59.42. Calculating doses of saxamethonium for obese patients, use adjusted body weight, which is ideal body weight plus 40% excess to a maximum of 200 mg. Ideal body weight for males, height in centimeters minus 100. Ideal body weight for females, Height in centimeters minus 105. All patients receiving muscle relaxants should undergo neuromuscular blockade monitoring routinely to help decide on timing of non depolarizing muscle relaxant top up, timing of administration of NDMR reversal agents, assessment of adequacy of neuromuscular blockade reversal. Refer to video on neuromuscular blockade monitoring for further details. NDMR top-ups. Maintenance dose of NDMR should be one-fifth to one-quarter of the initial intubating dose. Top-up before neuromuscular blockade wears off rather than having the patient cough or move. Administer NDMRs before saxamethonium wears off. Administration of NDMRs in patients with reduced choline esterase levels makes little difference in clinical outcomes except for Miva curium. Timing of administration of NDMR reversal agents. Do not reverse intermediate duration NDMRs with anticholine esterases within 15 minutes of administration. Anticholine esterases can be administered when either TOF count is more than 2, PTC more than 15, or DBS more than 1 twitch. Sugamadex 4 to 16 mg per kg as a single IV bolus injection. Infused over 10 seconds can be administered to reverse neuromuscular blockade caused by rocuronium when TOF count equals zero. Next, we will be discussing on individual agents. This table shows the pharmacodynamic parameters of selected non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers. ED50 in milligrams per kg, tubocurarin 0.23, pancuronium 0.036, rocuronium 0.147, vacuronium 0.027, atracurium 0.12, cisatracurium 0.026, mevacurium 0.039. ED95 in milligrams per kg, tubocurarin 0.48, pancuronium 0.067, rocuronium 0.305, 
vacuronium 0.043, atracurium 0.21, cisatracurium 0.04, mevacurium 0.067, CE50 in nanograms per mil, cubocurarin 370, pancuronium 88, rocuronium 3510, vacuronium 92, atracurium 449, cisatracurium 126 to 158, mevacurium 79.9. KEO per minute, cubocurarin 0.13, rocuronium 0.405, vacuronium 0.17, atracurium 0.13, cisatracurium 0.07 to 0.09, mevacurium 0.18. Intubating dose in milligrams per kg, cubocurarin 0.6, Pancuronium 0.08, Rocuronium 0.6, Vacuronium 0.1, Atracurium 0.5, Cisatracurium 0.1, Mevacurium 0.15. Maximum block in percentage. All achieve 100% except for tubocurarin at 97%. Time to maximum block in minutes. Tubocurarin 5.7, Pancuronium 2.9, Rocuronium 1.7, Vacuronium 2.4, Atracurium 3.2, Cisatracurium 5.2, and Mevacurium 3.3. Clinical duration of effect in minutes, Tubocurarin 81, Pancuronium 86, Rocuronium 36, Vacuronium 44, Atracurium 46, Cisatracurium 45 minutes, and Mevacurium 16.8 minutes. This table shows pharmacokinetic parameters of selected non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers, plasma clearance in mils per kg per minute, tubocurarin 2.4, pancuronium 1.7, rocuronium 2.9, vacuronium 3.0, atracurium 6.1 to 10.9, cisatracurium 5.2, mevacurium for cis trans isomer 106, trans trans isomer 57 and cis cis isomer 3.8. Volume of distribution in mils per kg, tubocurarin 250, pancuronium 261, rocuronium 207, vacuronium 194, atracurium 182 to 280, cis atracurium 145, mevacurium cis trans isomer 278, trans trans isomer 211, cis cis isomer 227. Elimination half-life in minutes, tubocurarin 84, pancuronium 132, rocuronium 71, vacuronium 78, atracurium 17.3 to 21, cis-atracurium 23, mevacurium cis-trans isomer 2.0, trans-trans isomer 2.3, and cis-cis isomer 68. Benzyl lysoquinolinium compounds, tubocurarin chloride, also known as D tubocurarin chloride, it is the only natural occurring non depolarizing muscle relaxant derived from the bulk of chondrodendron tomentosum. It is isolated from curare in 1935. It is named tubocurarin as it was initially stored in tubular bamboo canes. It has been used by South American Indians as arrow poison for centuries. It is the first non-depolarizing muscle relaxant to be used in humans by Griffith and Johnson in Montreal in 1942. Intubating dose 0.5 to 0.6 mg per kg, slow onset of action of 220 seconds, long duration of action of 80 minutes and above. Notable adverse effects, histamine release and hypotension with compensatory tachycardia, Ganglion blockade in large doses results in hypotension. It is excreted unchanged in the urine through kidneys with some biliary excretion of up to 30%. It is no longer available in the UK since 1996. Alcuronium chloride. It is a semi-synthetic derivative of toxiferin, which is an alkaloid of alabash curare. Compared with tubocurarin, Alcuronium has less histamine release properties and cause less hypotension. Alcuronium may cause vagolysis and mild tachycardia. Anaphylaxis, if occurred, was often severe. Intubating dose 0.2 to 0.25 mg per kg. Slow onset of action of 420 seconds. 
with a long duration of action of 70 minutes. Alkyronium is almost totally excreted unchanged through the kidneys. It is no longer available in UK since 1994. Introduction of atracurium and vacuronium caused its popularity to decline. Galamine triethiodide. It is a synthetic trisquaternary amine first used in France in 1948. Intubating dose is 160 mg in adults. Onset of action 300 seconds and duration of action 80 minutes. Half-life is 135 minutes. It is excreted almost entirely by the kidneys. Adverse effects. Avoid use in patients with renal impairment to avoid prolonged neuromuscular blockade. It crosses the placenta as it has a higher lipid solubility than bisquaternary amines. Avoid use in pregnant mothers. Potent vagolysis and direct sympathomimetic stimulation causes tachycardia and hypertension. Clinical utility. It is the most efficacious non-depolarizing muscle relaxant in reducing saxamethonium induced myalgia. The dose is IV galamine 10 mg prior to giving saxamethonium. Atracurium. It is introduced in 1982, developed by Stain Lake at Strathclyde University. It is a bisquaternary amine. It is a benzyl lysoquinolinium mixture of 16 potential isomers. Intubating dose is 0.5 mg per kg. Infusion dose 0.3 to 0.6 mg per kg per hour. Onset of action 110 seconds. Duration of action 43 minutes. It is reversible pharmacologically at 25 minutes after a dose of 0.45 mg per kg. Notable adverse effects include histamine release, anaphylaxis, and laudanosine production. Histamine release causes skin flush, wheel at the injection site, hypotension, bronchospasm, itch, and urticaria. Laudanosine is produced from Hoffman degradation of atracurium. It is a potentially epileptogenic metabolite. However, it has not been shown to cause clinically significant effects in humans. Contraindications, hypersensitivity and lack of ventilatory support, caution in conditions or drugs that potentiates non-depolarizing muscle relaxants, metabolism and elimination. 10% is excreted renally, 10% undergoes ester hydrolysis in plasma, 40-45% to hydrolyzed by hepatic esters, ester hydrolysis takes place at the site of the double carbon bond. 45% undergoes Hoffman degradation. This process is first identified in industrial processes 100 years ago. During Hoffman reaction, spontaneous degradation of amides to amines and quaternary ammonium salts to tertiary ones occurs under certain physical conditions. It is a pH and temperature dependent process whereby quaternary ammonium compounds break down spontaneously. Hoffman degradation occurs at body pH and temperature, and it increases with increased pH and increased temperature. In patients with impaired liver or renal function, drugs that break down spontaneously via Hoffman degradation does not have prolonged action as it is still cleared from the body, thus it is a drug of choice in renal or hepatic impairment. This results in low risk of accumulation, Store atracurium at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. However, if stored at room temperature, the activity of atracurium decreases by only a few percent per month. Metabolites include laudanosine and a monoquaternary acrylate compound. Cis atracurium. It is one of the isomers of atracurium. The intubating dose is 0.1 mg per kg as it is 3 to 4 times more potent than atracurium. Supplementary dose is 0.03 mg per kg. IV infusion dose, 1 to 3 micrograms per kg per minute, up to 10 micrograms per kg per minute. It has a longer duration of action of 45 minutes. Onset of action is 120 seconds. Advantages versus atracurium. It does not release histamine, and this results in greater cardiovascular stability. Cautions. It is contraindicated if the patient is hypersensitive to cis atracurium or benzyl alcohol contained in the 10 ml valves, severe anaphylaxis has been reported. Cross sensitivity with other NDMRs may occur. Do not administer before unconsciousness. Bradycardia may occur. Higher doses may be required in patients with burns. 
Be mindful of conditions or drugs that potentiate non-depolarizing muscle relaxants and adjust dosage accordingly. Residual paralysis may occur especially in patients with neuromuscular diseases such as myasthenia gravis and carcinomatosis. Avoid benzyl alcohol containing cis-atracurium in infants. Metabolism and elimination. Up to 70% undergoes Hoffman degradation. Ester hydrolysis, much less important compared to atracurium. Laudanosine levels produced from metabolism is much lower than atracurium as less cis-atracurium needs to be administered to the patient as it is more potent than atracurium. This is especially useful in the critically ill patient requiring prolonged infusion of a neuromuscular blocking drug. Cis-atracurium produces 10 times less laudanosine than atracurium after prolonged infusion. Inactive metabolites are formed from metabolism. 95% are excreted in the urine. Storage requirements are S for atracurium. When diluted in Hartmann's solution and 5% dextrose rather than in other types of IV fluids, faster degradation occurs. Doxacurium chloride. It is a bisquaternary ammonium compound only available in USA. Metabolism, 6% by plasma choline esterase. Excretion, it is excreted mostly unchanged via the kidneys and the liver. Intubating dose is 0.05 mg per kg. It is the most potent non-depolarizing muscle relaxant available. Onset of action 250 seconds. Duration of action 83 minutes. The duration of action is prolonged and unpredictable. No CVS adverse effects occurs. It is suggested for use in long surgeries where CVS stability is essential. Mivacurium. Intubating dose is 0.15 mg per kg. Supplementary dose 0.1 mg per kg, IV infusion dose 0.2 to 0.5 mg per kg per hour or 5 to 15 mcg per kg per minute. Onset of action 170 seconds, duration of action 16 minutes. It is useful for short surgical procedures where adverse effects of saxamethonium is to be avoided. Short procedures such as bronchoscopy, esophagoscopy, laparoscopy and tonsillectomy. Abnormal choline esterases increases its duration of action. For EU-EA heterozygotes, duration of action is up to 2 hours. EA-EA homozygotes, duration of action can be 8 hours or more. In patients with hepatic or renal disease, where plasma choline esterase activity decreases, the duration of action may be prolonged as well. Metabolism Ester hydrolysis 88% by plasma choline esterases, theoretically does not require neuromuscular blockade reversal with anti-choline esterases if neuromuscular function is being monitored and good recovery can be demonstrated. Full recovery usually occurs at 20 to 25 minutes. In reality, however, residual curarization can occur and thus reversal with anti-choline esterases is prudent and reversal can be done within 15 minutes. There are no active metabolites excretion is via urine, adverse effect. It has a similar ability to cause histamine release as atracurium, especially if given in high doses and given rapidly. Aminosteroid compounds Pancuronium It is a synthetic bisquaternary aminosteroid. It is the first steroid muscle relaxant used clinically Developed by Savage and Hewitt and marketed in 1964, it has no corticosteroid activity. Pancuronium has vagolytic and sympathomimetic actions and does not induce histamine release. It is traditionally popular in patients who are hemodynamically unstable and in those with atopy or allergies. It may cause hypertension, tachycardia and increased cardiac output. Intubating dose is 0.05 to 0.1 mg per kg. Supplementary dose 0.01 to 0.02 mg per kg. IV infusion 0.1 mg per kg per hour. For creatinine clearance of 10 to 15 mL per minute, reduce usual dose by 50%. Avoid if creatinine clearance is less than 10 mL per minute. Onset of action 220 seconds. Duration of action 75 minutes. It is metabolized in the liver and kidneys. 3-hydroxy metabolite has 50% of the activity of pancuronium. 
Deacetylation also creates three desacetyl active metabolites which are rendered water soluble by glucuronidation for urinary excretion. Avoid use in patients with hepatic or renal impairment. 60% is excreted unchanged in the urine. Pancuronium inhibits plasma choline esterase slightly and this increases the duration of action of drugs metabolized by plasma choline esterases such as saxamethonium and mevacurium. Pancuronium has been superseded by atracurium and vacuronium. Vacuronium, it is a monoquaternary homologue of pancuronium. It is created in an attempt to decrease the CVS effects of pancuronium introduced in the UK in 1983. It differs with pancuronium only in the loss of a methyl group from one quaternary ammonium radical. It possesses a tertiary amine which becomes increasingly protonated in an acidotic circulation, therefore its potency and its duration of action increases during acidosis. Intubating dose 0.1 mg per kg up to 0.25 mg per kg, supplementary dose 20 to 30 micrograms per kg. After administration of saxamethonium for intubation, the initial dose of vacuronium should be 30 to 50 micrograms per kg. IV infusion dose is 50 to 80 micrograms per kg per hour. Onset of action 180 seconds. Duration of action 33 minutes. Duration of action is increased to 50 minutes if 0.15 mg per kg is used and 80 minutes if 0.25 mg per kg is used. Vacuronium has minimal CVS effects. It rarely produces histamine release. It does not have any direct CVS effects such as ganglion or vagal blockade even at several times the usual doses. However, vacuronium may allow unopposed vagal stimulation by other agents to cause bradycardia. Reversal agent. Neuromuscular blocking effects of vacuronium can be reversed by sugamadex or anticholine esterases. Metabolism of vacuronium. Hepatic deacetylation produces 3 desacetyl vacuronium, which is active. Accumulation can occur especially when repeated doses are administered to patients with hepatic or renal impairment. Vacuronium is excreted unchanged mainly in the bowel, 45%, and also in the urine, 30%. Piperkuronium bromide. It is the analog of pancuronium, developed in Hungary in 1980, marketed in Eastern Europe and USA in the 1990s. It possesses marked CVS stability. There are no vagolytic or sympathomimetic actions. Piperkuronium does not cause histamine release. It is useful during major surgery for patients with cardiac disease. Intubating dose is 0.07 mg per kg. Onset of action 300 seconds. Duration of action 95 minutes. It reversibly inhibits plasma choline esterase. Excretion, urine 66%. It accumulates in renal failure. Rocuronium. It is a monoquaternary amino steroid. When used in equipotent doses, it is very similar to vacuronium. However, although rocuronium is 6 to 8 times less potent than vacuronium, it has approximately the same molecular weight. Consequently, a greater number of drug molecules may reach the postjunctional acetylcholine receptor within the first few circulations, enabling faster development of neuromuscular blockade. It possesses a tertiary amine, which becomes increasingly protonated in an acidotic circulation. Therefore, its potency and its duration of action increases during acidosis. CVS stability. Rocuronium evokes minimal histamine release. It has modest vagolytic effects only after large doses, causing mild increases in heart rate. Risk of anaphylaxis. It is more common compared to any other aminosteroid non-depolarizing muscle relaxants and occur at a similar rate of anaphylactic reactions to atracurium or mevacurium. Intubating dose is 0.6 to 1.2 mg per kg. 1 to 1.2 mg per kg is advocated by some anesthetists for rapid sequence induction. However, studies show that doses higher than 1 mg per kg does not improve intubating conditions but prolongs the duration of effect. Supplementary dose 0.15 mg per kg, IV infusion dose, 0.3 to 0.6 mg per kg per hour after a loading dose. Onset of action, 
0.6 mg per kg. Adequate intubating conditions are achieved within 60 seconds in 81% and 75% of patients under propofol or fentanyl plus thiopental anesthesia respectively. For 1 mg per kg, adequate intubating conditions are achieved within 60 seconds in 93% and 96% of patients under propofol or fentanyl plus thiopental anesthesia respectively. Duration of action 0.15 mg per kg, 15 minutes, 0.6 mg per kg, 30 to 45 minutes, 0.9 to 1.2 mg per kg, up to 90 minutes, 2 mg per kg, 110 minutes. Adverse effects Histamine release causes tachycardia, hypotension, flushing, bronchospasm, edema and rash, anaphylaxis, muscle weakness, apnea, respiratory failure, etc. Metabolism of rocuronium Hepatic metabolism to 17-des-acetylrocuronium occurs, which has 5% of the activity of the parent compound. Excretion of rocuronium. It is excreted unchanged in the urine and in the bowel. Urine 30%, bowel 70%. Duration of action is increased in renal or hepatic impairment. Specific antagonist is Sugamadex. Rapacuronium bromide. It is the last amino steroid to become available it is less potent than rocuronium. Intubating dose is 1.5 mg per kg, onset of action less than 75 seconds, duration of action is 15 minutes. Metabolism. It is cleared rapidly from the plasma by the liver via deacetylation. Metabolite ORG9488 has neuromuscular blocking properties, thus repeated doses of rapacuronium may result in prolongation of neuromuscular blocking. Cardiovascular stability is similar to rocuronium. It can cause bronchospasm from release of histamine or leukotrienes. Rapacuronium bromide has been withdrawn from the market due to reports of fatal bronchospasm and hypoxemia from its administration. Gantacurium It is not available in clinical practice yet pending further research. Structure It is an asymmetric enantiomeric isoquinolinium diester of chlorofumeric acid. It represents a new class of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants, the asymmetric mixed onium chlorofumerate. Onset of action is 60 to 90 seconds. Duration of action is 10 to 14 minutes. Intubating dose 0.2 mg per kg. Metabolism by chemical degradation. Slow process, pH sensitive hydrolysis. The fast process is cysteine adduction. Metabolites of gantacurium are inactive. There are no renal or hepatic participation in gantacurium metabolism or elimination. Reversal agent. Gantacurium can be completely reversed by L-cysteine at a dose of IV 10 to 50 mg per kg. Gantacurium can also be reversed by conventional choline esterase inhibitors. Adrophonium is ideal with a peak effect of less than 2 minutes due to the rapid spontaneous recovery of gantacurium. New stigmine peak effect is 7 to 11 minutes and is thus not suitable as a reversal agent for gantacurium. Adverse effect. Significant histamine release at doses of 4 times ED95 occurs. Derivatives includes CW002 and CW011. These are my references. Thank you.